This is what Dixis Gibbs alludes to in NCIS LA. Compared to other shared worlds, crossovers between NCIS and other shows are quite unusual. This is why Eric Christian Olsen's, the episode's writer and director, mention of Leroy Zithro gives on NCIS Los Angeles was so startling. Mark Harmon, who exited NCIS earlier this year. Sam Hanna informed Kenzie Bile and Deeks upon their arrival at work that they had all received envelopes that could only be opened if everyone else was there. They, together with Caleb Castile's Devin Rontre, proved to be sufficient in the end. Eric Bailey wrote, In Silicon Valley, we are all drowning in data that we flaunt as knowledge. Power is mistaken with respect and success is confused with pleasure. We cannot put this money in the bank. I miss you all and I hope that through sharing my money, we will both find pleasure. Also, he had given the same sum to their favorite charity. Upon finishing the book, Deeks remarked, maybe he was influenced by Gibbs. Timothy McGee and Dr. Jimmy Palmer each got $10,000 earlier this season on NCIS in the episode Pledge of Allegiance. It was not the case with Nick Torres, who was played by Wilma Valderrama and Jessica Knight, who was played by Katrina Law. Leroy Jethro Gibbs College Scholarship Club member Leon Vance introduced them as the newest members. Because he had already been given the same amount, there was no use in attempting to return it. The filmmaker said it is in remembrance of his daughter Kelly. In his earlier years, he began saving for her education. Gibbs left the account open when she passed away. In fact, he continued to build to it. Many agents' families have benefited from his assistance since then. Kelly's kids are all going to college. However, this raises the issue of how Deeks would have known about it, given the crossover between the two series, unless it became a public knowledge in NCIS circles upon the receipt of those deposits by McGee and Palmer. Alternatively, Deeks and Tony Dinozo, Michael Weatherly, who departed NCIS after season 13, may have kept in touch following his vacation to Los Angeles and blame it on Rio. After Harmon's departure, there has been a steady steam of Gibbs' illusions throughout the common universe. Naturally, he has been addressed multiple times on NCIS. On Hawaii, we learned that Jan Tennant worked with Gibbs and Tony and impressed him and his regulations were brought up during the current crossover. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.